this is Kara. Welcome back. So today I'm showing a new project that I'm going to be working on. I'm actually going to do two projects using this kit. I'm going to make a folio and a junk journal. I haven't made a sewing journal before, which is crazy to me. So this is the time. <laughs> I'm going to use Calico Collage's Sew Vintage Journaling Kit and some other goodies that I went through in my stash. So let's just take a look really quick. This journaling kit she's had out for a while. She's updated a couple things and I'll show you that. Um, the colors are really fun and it's vintage and and then there's kind of like the 50s and 60s kind of feel. It's really unique and different. It's really fun. So this is a journal cover and then she has the elements. She has tons of elements in this kit. And then these you can change and then these can go into the pockets. And then for the pages, I printed front and back this time. I haven't done this in a while. And I actually did it right the first time. I was very proud of myself. The writing pages, these are the new addition that she added. And it's a separate listing in her shop and I'll have that down below. I love all the colors the peaches and the blues and the pinks and it's vintage and shabby it's just really really fun all the elements dress forms oh that one's fun really cute buttons. Ooh, buttons. I need to get some buttons. So these I printed just on regular copy paper. Not copy, but copy. <laughs> and then these I printed on thicker cardstock because these are going to be embellishments. And then this, let me just check something really quick. All right, I'm going to set this aside. So these are the other embellishments that are with the kit. There's button cards, really fun measuring tape. And then she also has this folio kit. So I'm gonna do two projects, the folio and then a junk journal. So this is the cover of the folio. And then the fun pieces that you can put in. See how it's like 50s and 60s plus the really old vintage, I think that's a fun combo. And then this is a double pocket that you can make. And then this can be a booklet or just a little folder. So I'm gonna make the folio. And then from my stash, again, one of my favorite parts of making junk journals is going through all my stuff to see what I have that will work in the kit. And I have these papers, these are older, papers. I'm not sure from when. Looking for a date. I don't see it. Hmm. Anyway, these are older Julie Nutting pages from her French flea market. And I thought that the colors went really well and the flowers are very similar. So I thought that would work. And that looks cute together. And then the black stripe and I thought this was fun with the dress forms. This is different. This is Metropolitan Girl from Cartabella. And then this one because there's lots of polka dots. Ooh, this is the one I want to show you. There's lots of polka dots. A different color but the polka dots I thought were really fun. This pink one with the flowers. That's a mask and some writing, more flowers I thought would be cute, these hangers, and the form, and then some really fun words, fashion style, trendsetter, lovely, on point, oh, those are perfect. So those are my scrapbook papers, and then I have a 1960-ish book, it's called The Complete Guide to Sewing. And I went and I kind of pulled out whole sections of the book. So this talks about fabric. And I thought those would be fun. And then there's images of the different fabrics. So I pulled out a bunch of those. 
that I'm going to use, as well as some other book pages and other things. And then my book cover for now, I'm going with this. And let me show you the cover again. I thought that this green was really nice with this background. So I would layer maybe some things up. I don't know. I just pulled it because of this color. I thought that was a good, a good color. It's a good size. So we'll go with that. And then I had some button cards in my stash. Really fun. I love this one. And then I pulled out my fabric scraps. These are just a few but pinks and oranges and blues. And then <laughs> I went a little hog wild <laughs> in my fabric sash. And recently I bought some of the bundles from Michaels with the, um, what are these, ribbons? So I have a bunch of ribbon, bunch of fun fabrics. Cause I figure a sewing journal, you're gonna need a lot of textiles. And then I'm really excited about this. This was a recent purchase I made and it's um, fabric measuring tape. So cool, I think it will be perfect. And then what else? I have a pattern that I'm gonna use as background for something. There it is, nice and vintagey. And then I also had in my stash from 1967, Hoosier Holiday Cookbook. And I wanted to find some ads from this that I can put in with um, the journal as ephemera. So I wanted to do something with this, but I just thought it was nice and the color is perfect. So maybe shoes or something to go with the sewing. So I have that pulled out, and then I also have some hangers, paper clips that I want to embellish, another button card, and then in my stash, I think I got these from Amore Fabrics, or maybe eBay, maybe eBay or Amore Fabrics a couple of years ago, but they're sewing uh, needles in these cards, and I thought that would be fun to put in, and then I pulled out some stickers that I have, some dress forms and flowers, more paper clips, and then these old vintage looking, well they're not really vintage, but they are pictures of vintage things, so I thought those would be fun, just to kind of get me going. <laughs> and so that's what I have pulled out for now, and it seems like I always go back and look for other things, but I'm really excited, and I hope you come back to see how the project's going. I think the folio I'll do as a kind of a process and then I'll do a flip through of the journal. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, so thanks for stopping by and have a great crafty day. Bye-bye.